our natural world is in trouble. Habitats and ecosystems are being pushed to the brink, and for the first time in Earth's history, just one species is to blame, us. And yet, we are completely dependent on nature. It gives us the food we eat, the air we breathe, and the materials to protect us and fuel our economies. The Earthshot Prize sets out a series of urgent challenges that humankind needs to solve in the remainder of this decade to repair our planet. For the natural world to recover and to give ourselves a chance, we need solutions now. From protecting the spaces we have left, to restoring destroyed habitats and adapting our own relationships with the land, these are the finalists for the Earthshot Prize to protect and restore nature. In one of the most precious and biodiverse habitats on Earth, one of humanity's closest relatives needs all the help it can get. Orangutans are perhaps the most recognisable inhabitants of the Bornean rainforest. But their existence is under threat as their home forests are increasingly fragmented. One group of conservationists is working to stop this and save one of Earth's most threatened species. My name is Isabel Lachman and I'm the co-founder of Hutan, a wildlife research and conservation program in the Kinabatangan floodplain in Sabah, Malaysian Borneo. Our Earthshot solution to protect and restore nature is to mediate human wildlife coexistence in degraded and fragmented habitats. The Kilobatangan floodplain is an absolutely amazing area. We have a huge diversity of wildlife. Past human activities have resulted in the loss of habitat and most importantly the fragmentation of the remaining patch of forest. So we have estimated that the orangutan population in Kinabatangan have decreased by more than 70% in the past 60 years. The wildlife that lives in these small patches of forest at the moment have no way to move from one fragment of forest to the other. A fragment of forest will uh, be the home of 5, 10, 20, sometimes 50 orangutans. Males need to disperse and move to another territory to find unrelated females. Orangutans trapped in a pocket of forest eventually will all be uh, related. So that's a huge threat uh, in the, for the conservation. We have several pilot projects going on with communities, with oil palm plantations. Through these projects, we can demonstrate that coexistence is possible. Well, winning an Earthshot Prize would mean a lot uh, for Hutan, for all our, all of our team and all of our project partners here in Kinabatangan. It would really mean that the efforts that we're doing to work together and collaborate instead of fighting each other uh, have inspired some people. Protecting what natural spaces we have left is vital, but what happens when a habitat has already been damaged? At Chongqing Jiaotong University in China, Professor Yi Zhejian and a team of students have created an ingenious way to bring desertified land back to life. My name is Yi Zhejian, I'm from the Chinese Chongqing Jiaotong University. I'm a science professor. The Samo has been called the Earth's disease, which is the most important part of human life. The Samo is the most important part of human life. 重大生态环境问题，全球沙漠化土地有三千八百平方公里，占地球陆地面积的四分之一，并且非常严峻的是，沙漠化每年以五到七万平方公里的速度在扩张。我们要解决的问题，就是让沙漠沙子获得土壤性质，让沙漠化土地重新披上绿装，夺回我们。曾经失去的家园，我们是通过力学手段，让沙漠的沙子获得土壤结团性能和保水保肥的性质。沙漠化防治能够改善地球环境，造福人类，能够让我们的子孙后代允许发展。如果我们在未来的三十年改造十万平方公里，就将惠及上千万人口。获得二零二二年二十下台奖，对我们来说非常有意义。从另一个方面，这也是国际社会高度关注人类生存发展
，让地球变得更加美好的追求的一个体现。Restoring desertified land back to life-sustaining soil is an incredible achievement that has the potential to help billions of people around the world. But the problem doesn't end there. Smallholder farmers are particularly affected by the world's changing climate. One company has come up with a simple and affordable solution that has already helped hundreds of farmers. My name is Kaushik. I'm from Hyderabad, India. I'm a social entrepreneur and the CEO of Kethi. The Kethi greenhouse in a box was designed to solve the challenges of climate risk and the effects of climate change in Indian agriculture. Climate change not only affects people in cities. But more importantly, wipes out huge swathes of agriculture. So there are about 100 million small farmers in India, and they, on average, the Indian government found, lose money from agriculture. The climate decides whether they succeed or they fail, and that risk is getting worse every year due to climate change. For the longest time, agriculture was a little bit in sync in nature, but over the last 50, 100 years, the overuse of fertilizer, overuse of pesticides. Or use of other unsustainable farming practices have depleted soil health, and have also caused pollution in the air, pollution in the water, and increase in global warming. So the Kethi greenhouse in a box is a low-cost modular greenhouse that helps smallholder farmers achieve three things. First, it increases their incomes by increasing yield seven times and helping them grow food throughout the year. Second, it protects that income from climate change by having covering materials which protect from heat. Rain, pests, and hail. And the third is that it makes their farming more sustainable by using one fiftieth the water when compared to traditional cultivation, and much lesser pesticides and fertilizers. So Kethi today is a forty-member team serving around a thousand farmers across six states of India. Over the last year, these farmers have, on average, increased their incomes by seventy-five percent and saved hundreds of millions of liters of water by using our greenhouse solution. Even though there's so many kinds of problems, I'm mostly optimistic about the future because I see that together there is a solution to this problem. Nature is under threat right across the planet, but these three finalists have shown that there is hope. We can protect what nature we have left. We can restore nature where it has been damaged. We can change our practices to work better with. Nature.